And that is our Microsoft 365 integration. We know many of you use Microsoft 365 in your organization and probably use some of the tools that come with it on a daily basis. And this is why we want to integrate Blink with the Microsoft 365 suite as well as we can. Our Microsoft 365 integration already integrates with your calendar, allows single sign-on into Blink, starting Teams meetings from chat and automated user management through Skim. Now, one part of the Microsoft 365 integrate uh, of Microsoft uh, 365, sorry, we don't integrate with currently is SharePoint. And the reason is that we've been focusing on the Blink Hub as the place where your frontline can go to access the files and folders they need. However, we heard from many of you that you already have your documents and files organized in SharePoint and that you wouldn't want to have to maintain these in two places. If only there was a way to get all these files from SharePoint into the Blink Hub without having the overhead of keeping everything in sync. Well, this is where our new SharePoint integration comes in, giving you a quick and easy way to surface all your files and folders from SharePoint right in the Blink Hub. So no longer does your frontline have to install multiple apps and open multiple apps on their phones or set up a Microsoft 365 account to get access to the files that you're hosting in your corporate SharePoint. They can now simply access them from the Blink Hub. And I'd love to give a quick demo of how it all works. So um, as you can see, I've got my Blink uh, desktop open here and I've got my phone ready as well. And I'll, I'll turn to that in a second. Now. Before I, um, I show you how the SharePoint integration works, I would like to touch on a few points of where uh, we've already got our Microsoft 365 integration. So starting with, obviously, when you're in the feed, you've got uh, your calendar, your Outlook calendar that you can pull in um, from uh, straight in onto the feed. And then if you move into chats, you've got the uh, it's a meetings integration where you can quickly start a Teams meeting. In directory, you can pull in uh, everyone through Skim uh, from Active Directory. And like Sean said, we're going to be adding groups to that as well soon so that you can manage your teams um, um, from through Active Directory and pull in all your groups that you've got set up there. And in Hub, you can add uh, Microsoft Forms already, like this uh, report and absence form that um, we use internally as well. Um, but now let's add SharePoint to that and let's add something from SharePoint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the uh, Blink admin portal. So I've got the Blink admin portal open. And the first thing you would have to do uh, before using this is someone with a SharePoint admin access would have to go in and set this up for your entire organization. Now, this would only have to be done once. You would go into the integrations tab here on the side and you would uh, go into the Microsoft 365 integration and you would then go through a setup flow, which only has to happen once. And once that is done, anyone who's got access to SharePoint can then start adding uh, files and folders from SharePoint into the Blink Hub. So let's let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, I've got a um, file here. I've got a folder here, actually, 2021 documents that I like to share with my team. So I'm going to go into the, um, the Hub um, section. And I'm going to go click Add Content and uh, select this new SharePoint uh, option that I've got. Now, this is going to open the, uh, the Microsoft uh, file and, and folders picker. And it's going to show all my sh the, all the SharePoint drivers that I, as a user, have got access to. So I've got access to the Blink uh, SharePoint site. I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'm going to find the folder that I, I mentioned, so which is the 21, 21 documents folder. It's got a few things in there. Um, so I'm going to go select that and get that all synced up to Blink Hub. So I'm going to click open. Um, now, as uh, as usual, when you're sharing files in, in the hub, there's a few things you got to select. Uh, I got to select which team I would like to share with. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the whole company team. Uh, and the section I would like to add it to, I'll, ha I'll add it to content. And if I want, I can I can share this to feeds, uh, or I could open it in SharePoint to make sure that I've selected the right thing. But for now, I'm just going to go cl click share and, and add this to the hub. So this is going to sync up everything you've got in SharePoint uh, with our Blink Hub, and it, it'll take a second, but um, hopefully not too long. And yeah, there you go. So it's all synced up now, and behind the scenes, we'll make sure to keep that all up to date as well. So if you make any changes in SharePoint, um, that will all be reflected inside of Blink. So yeah, as you can see in the content section, I've now got this 2021 documents, and I've pulled in all, uh, all the files that you've got here. 
Um, so let's go ahead. Um, imagine I'm, um, I'm one of uh, one of your employees working on the front line. I'm going to go up and open my Blink app on the right here uh, using my mobile phone. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm in Blink now, and this is just a feed, as you know it. You've got uh, I've got a, a feature post here at the top uh, from our CEO. I've got a social post uh, where someone's been celebrating a birthday, and I've got uh, an important uh, update from someone that looks familiar, at least. Uh, someone's lost their keys. I'll get to all that later. Um, I see there's a minute to read as well. I should probably attend that, but again, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that for now and i'm going to go into the hub um, where i'm going to try and find these files that have been shared so the it's obviously um automatically synced up in in the background there's nothing to do so i've got my 2021 documents uh, ready here and i can go open a powerpoint file uh, i can open word files uh, it, it will preview most of the the common file types pdf um, excel so i've got it all available here um, and similarly, uh, previously, I, I already had synced up our policies, and these are our Blink policies. So imagine that, again, this is one of these things that you probably have already in SharePoint. And this is our uh, Blink SharePoint and our policies. So we've synced this up through our SharePoint integration. Uh, and now we don't have to keep all these, all these files and folders uh, synced in, in Blink. We can just have them here uh, through SharePoint, and we can manage them all through SharePoint. Uh, so as there's a few more folders here. So it, it, it syncs up the entire folder structure uh, as you would expect and i can preview them and get them straight from my phone um and similarly just uh, to prove that i'm not um that it only works on, on mobile they've also synced up i've got policies here on my desktop app uh and uh, similar that 21 21 documents folder is now also synced up and i can go ahead and preview uh these powerpoint files and, and excel files and so on So that is our new SharePoint integration. We will be testing a beta version of this feature first and are opening registration for that today. If you're interested, we will be in touch uh, with more details later today. The integration will launch in May as a paid add-on. And if you have any questions in the meanwhile, please get in touch with our sales team.